Uh, Black Lagoon. It's not really a horror series per se, but there was one episode that does far fall under horror, you might say. Uh, the episode is Swan Song at Night. It is the end of the Hansel and Gretel arc. Hansel and Gretel are a pair of, um, they imply they're 10 to 12 years old, twin sibling uh, assassins. They had shown up for several episodes, and basically the people hiring them didn't know what they were getting at the time. Overall, I really recommend watching the full arc before you see this episode. It makes it more moving, basically. I don't like a lot of modern anime. I'm more of the 1970s, the Go Nagai, the Space Cruiser Yamato, and the Harlock genre. This is one of the few of the modern animes that I actually enjoyed in this episode here. I don't use the word moving very often. It was just that. As you learn about the siblings, it's implied that they're Serbians. And they were given up to an orphanage when they were born. They were then sold to the Mafia, where they were put into several films. I don't even need to go into details with that, you know exactly what I mean. And then heavily abused and after a while they stopped feeling proper emotion and they were used for to be assassins. The twist however is you don't know what gender the siblings are. You can't tell. They, they portray themselves as a boy and a girl but in one episode the girl takes her wig off and says I want to be the brother for this run. And then you start seeing them have the same voice and you can't really tell if either of them are girl or boy. It's more, I guess, a defense mechanism. As they talk more and more toward the end of the episode, you start to realize the amount of suffering and hardship they went through and how all they ever wanted to do was see the sun. The boy, I'm going to say that just for outward appearance, is killed in front of the Russian Mafia leader. The girl hires the mercenary team to take her to another island where she's going to escape. She knows that her brother's dead and she just wants some peace. The salaryman basically helps bridge the gap and shows her some kindness and makes great strides with her. You can actually get a good feel of the emotions going through and you feel genuinely happy when you see that she's going to live happily ever after. Then you realize this is anime. Yeah, this is anime. It, there's no happily ever after an anime. I made the mistake with Full Metal Alchemist. At the end, though, she looks up and sees the sun and is happy. The ending credits are different than most episodes with the two of them walking on the beach in the sun. I highly recommend this episode, but it's far worse tear-jerking than the Nina Tucker episode of Full Metal Alchemist. Just be warned.